So I really lucked out this week when I was walking dogs. People were cutting down trees. And I, of course, said, hey, can I steal one of these? Because I really want to try to practice more on the lathe, but I feel bad wasting wood. We got all this neat wood that I could use, but I still don't know what I'm doing. So I am going to try these pieces that I found and see what happens. And as always, my cat is here making an appearance, wanting to say hi. Say hi! Now that I have some scrap pieces of wood to play around with that I don't feel bad about ruining, I thought, okay, I'm going to just jump on the lathe. But you got to figure out how to get the wood on the lathe. So one option is to drill a 3 8 hole in the center of the wood, and then I have a bolt that I can put in there to hook to the chuck. Another option is to prep a piece of wood and screw it in, in this kind of chuck. I've also seen where someone's prepped the wood and glued it to the big piece of wood. I don't know about that, but I decided I'm going to start with the smaller piece of wood that I found. Cut it on the bandsaw so I have an even piece to play with. Find my center and then drill a hole into that. And then try to create the right taper so I can flip it and put it in the chuck. At first glance, I was thinking the center would just be this knot right here, but as I started to set up my lines, and I just keep drawing lines until I have a center, I don't think it's going to end up being this knot. So it wasn't where I was initially thinking the center would be. It, it was close. But if I had drilled my hole there, my wood would have been really wobbly on the lathe. All right, so I've screwed in my bolt and got it securely tight in the chuck. Got to make sure that you tighten everything up each time because you don't want anything to go loosey-goosey on you. So my goal for this piece of wood is to figure out how to do a taper with the chisel skew so I can flip this wood and put it into this chuck where the grip of the, of the angle of the wood and the grip of the angle of the chuck are going to make it tight. But first I got to get rid of all this bark. So we'll start with that. So this bolt started to come loose while I was trying to work on my cut-in on the lathe. So I had this in the chuck like this, started making all kinds of funky sounds. And I thought it might have been this, this end, but it wasn't. But I think I got far enough in my cut-in that I can flip it over. get to work. One thing I was thinking about is because I'm using wet wood that's probably why the bolts came loose. Also my digging is way too thick. Like this fat guy should be up against this, up against the teeth and it's not. So something to learn and keep in mind for the future. Now I'm going to try and play around with different tools. But I guess I know how to mount the wood. <laughs> 